channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Lysogen. A few months ago, I made a review video of my mountain bike cycling shoes. And in that video, I told you I had just gotten new road shoes. So I've never used road shoes before. I've always used mountain bike shoes for road and for um, gravel. But I'm super excited to be using these new road shoes. So in today's video, I am going to be installing road cleats on my new road shoes. So if you want to learn how to install cleats, stay tuned because that's what we're doing today. <laughs> Before we begin the installation, I want to thank Marquis Cycling for sponsoring today's video. They have actually provided the cleats that I will be using for the installation. These are essentially their version of the standard Shimano yellow cleats with six degrees of float. These marquee cleats come with uh, 10 millimeter bolts. Most shoes from uh, major brands like Shimano, Physique, and others uh, use 10 millimeter bolts. Only a few cycling brands use 12 millimeter bolts. So using a 12 millimeter bolt from certain cleats might be a little too long. Just keep that in mind. Uh, but you should be pretty much fine with these uh, for most major brands. So without further ado, Let's get right to the installation. Okay, so since this is my first time doing this, I'm gonna have to kind of play with it a lot. But essentially what I wanna do is pretty much um, line it up in the middle and adjust it as, as I go. So you have these little lines here on the sides. So you wanna center these somewhere around the middle of the lines. The other thing to note is that you can always kind of reference the numbers here on the lines. Uh, most shoes have some sort of reference like these. You have to consider uh, like the ball of your foot is probably like here, right? So you probably want it to line up somewhere around here. You'll most likely be in the middle of these reference numbers once you align it to the, the ball of your foot. Somewhere around there. Okay. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to kind of just do this with my hand, like tighten the bolts with my hand and then work from there. You can see the amount of adjustability that they have right now. But again, you wanna go in the middle. So look at the lines here, kind of count them, count them on the other side and pretty much line it up in the middle. And same thing on the bottom. That's given that the markers are in a place that, you know, seems like it makes sense. And then the only other consideration is that you want to line them up in line with the shoe in terms of the angle. You don't want them to angle like that or like that so right now i'm looking at the bottom numbers making sure that they're kind of in the middle and same thing with the sides and once you feel you have them really well lined up you can tighten them i'm using a four millimeter allen key you'll have to put your shoes on and ride with them and you want the pressure to be in the ball of your foot, again, somewhere around here. If you feel like the pressure is, you know, one way or the other, then you can play around with it. Always do minor adjustments and make sure that you're comfortable when writing. Once you feel like you have it pretty lined up, make sure you write it a lot and make sure that you're feeling that pressure point right there in the, on the ball of your foot and always continue making minor adjustments. Now, when you do the other one, note if your shoe has uh, numbers and start off by matching where it is in reference to the numbers. I'm gonna go ahead and install this by um, trying to match the numbers on this shoe and then I'm gonna go out there, write it, make sure it feels fine, make minor adjustments, and then you know, go from there. So as you can see, I've already written my shoes out there. And one thing I forgot to mention is that these particular cleats come with this marking right here. You see this little line? So this line will actually be really helpful when aligning the ball of your foot to the pedal. So use this little line as your guide. Well, there you have it. 
I've installed my cleats and I think I did a pretty good job. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. If you have any other suggestions on how to do this a better way, please, by all means, let me know. Another suggestion that I have is once you have it exactly where you want it and you've written it a couple times and it feels amazing, then it'd be a good idea to come home and grab a permanent marker and mark the edges or even carve it a little bit just so that if it moves or slides a little bit, then you know exactly where to align it. I'll leave a link to these cycling cleats in the comment box below. Make sure you check out Marquis Cycling website. They not only sell cleats, but a whole bunch of other cycling products that you might like. Um, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all on the road. With road shoes now. What? <laughs> Bye.